before we try to shoot the gun in, we gotta make sure we do an app, a hard sidle penetration test. Making bad decisions here. In three, two, one. So it turns out a 50 BMG uh, will penetrate a hard cider. Hmm. Okay. Definitely gonna have to clean my gun too. Yuck. All right. So today I'm gonna be checking out my Leatherwood M1200 uh, scope on my 50 BMG to make sure it's still shooting good. Cause the last few times I had it out, it seemed kind of wonky. Uh, these guns. For whatever reason, they like to really chew up scopes. Like with the Barrett, you have a retracting barrel and semi-auto, so it kind of takes a lot of recoil. But this being a single-shot bullpup, I mean, it has a lot of recoil, but you don't have a whole lot of felt recoil. Like it's not bad to shoot. But that being said, the gun weighs was it 36 pounds or something? It's pretty heavy. It's a 36-inch barrel. Uh, so you got a lot of weight coming back and the scope's trying to want to stay there. It uh, chews up the scope mounts a lot. Uh, this is another one I had on there just because it's hard to keep a scope still and that's really hard on scopes, any kind of movement. It chews them up. I had this scope for a while. I mean, I, maybe 100 rounds through it or so and it seems kind of, one thing that definitely happened is the lighted reticle. <laughs> Something happened, it's stuck on now kind of leads me to believe that something might be broke uh, a couple things were a little bit loose so i tightened everything up uh, so should be good uh, this is your bullet drop compensator for 50 bmg i mean it's set at 300 yards and i have the elevation i think it's shooting really fucking high and uh i think i have it cranked all the way down so anyway i got it I mean, I hate to say, but it's literally like 69 yards away. Comes the military. They always fly never. So it, uh, I'm using Denver Bullet. Uh, the, they're 50 BMG uh, Reman Tracers. I think $23 for a pack of 10. So if you shoot a 50 BMG, make sure you check them out. Check out Hilux Optics on YouTube. They do a great review and uh, how to use this scope. I actually talked to them before. They're pretty cool people. So I'm going to get set up and... Uh, See if it's blown out or not. It might be, uh, no, the military. It's, uh, that's Blackhawk there. Two Blackhawks. Yeah, I live right over a flight path. And <laughs> so my house is like right down there, about 690 yards. Like in their lights, probably 690 yards, maybe 500 yards, not very far. And the other day, one come fucking hauling ass up over the hill, like right above my house. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> but anyway, let's get set up here. Okay, uh, we take the first shot. I'm not trying to sight the gun in, I'm just trying to make sure it's shooting. Not all over the place, so I'm not going for precise, precise. <laughs> it just rains dirt down. Did that scare? Well, I hit low and to the right, so actually I'm gonna let it right there. Yeah, I'll try another one real quick to see how it's grouping, maybe. Okay, that one also seemed to get low and to the right, so uh, I'll make some adjustments here and we might be good. Okay, so it was hitting low there. <clears throat> I thought it was hitting high before, but maybe I was high, I don't know. <laughs> so I gotta go back and rewatch your video actually, how, because when you zoom in, it automatically changes it, and there's a way you can disengage it and stuff. So if these guys actually are watching this, I mean, let me know. I'll go back and check out their video either way. 
So I adjusted it and see if it's any better this time. So, so much dirt flies. Okay, definitely better for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'll adjust again and we'll try again. Alrighty, let's try this again. Now we're getting somewhere. Elevation almost perfect. Like I said, BMG you should be sighting it in further, but around here just ain't got the uh, range anymore. We used to, but there actually is a 500 yard range literally right there. But I just shoot sighting it in and shoot stupid stuff. The one time I don't have my camera, I was like, I'll just make adjustments and take a shot. I'm, <laughs> almost got the woods on fire like that tracer i actually found a jacket it was impressive you could see all the, like the phosphorus in there but i mean it, she was cooking down there i was like uh-oh we're running up real quick but it was in the wet dirt and so we're all good this little 50 bmg jacket so i got it almost sighted in uh moved a little bit too much one way i got like it's an old air conditioning condenser from like a caterpillar i think it's very heavy steel so I'll put uh, a tracer in there and just see if we can hit it. Maybe I could put you guys down there. Maybe I'll just try to zoom in or something. I'll figure something out. That's awesome there. The first one, I adjusted it again. It was shooting a little bit to the right. And then I adjusted it where I thought. And then how the bitch right in the middle i mean windage perfect hit a little bit low so i might try adjusting it some more there but look you can see right through it <laughs> that's pretty cool check out the exit come out <laughs> that's pretty cool man yeah yeah so the scope seems good oh get out of the bushes here scope seems good so good to shoot some more stuff and hopefully soon we can do some more some more blasting. Maybe I can there's another propane tank there. I do have a incendiary round. I'm thinking I should try an incendiary round on this. <laughs> 